Hi everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to on this Tuesday, because I'm coming to you pretty much in real time again for a video this week, uh, is a haul and um, four questions. I have four questions that I'm gonna answer. <laughs> and no, I don't have a tutorial Tuesday for you yet for iMovie. I've so been so busy trying to finish my decor. I will not be doing that until all of my fall decor goes up. And maybe even when I get back from my cruise, I may be able to have some time between now and when I leave for my cruise to do one or two. But we're going to play that by ear, you guys. I promise you that I will be doing it. As I said, um, a tutorial Tuesday for iMovie. I promise you. And y'all know when I I promise I do it you know so I promise you it will be coming up in in the future it's just that I'm just I'm just too busy with everything else awesome but anyway I do have a haul for you today and it's just like one or two things from each place it's not huge <laughs> but you know I say that and then I talk and talk and talk and talk and talk so <laughs> here is here is a list of uh, the places that I'm going to be hauling from uh, home goods Michaels, Ross, Vera Bradley, the Vera Bradley outlet, and Plow and Hearth and QVC. Whoops, excuse my lighting. Sorry about that. It always happens when I'm sitting here. Let me pull it a little closer. Maybe that'll help. Sorry about that. Always, I have these lights over my head here, and I think that that at my island, and for some reason it catches me wrong. Hopefully that will help. But anyway, all right, let's get started. Uh, let's start with the Vera outlet. How about that? Because, you know, I had put that up last week in my community post and do keep an eye on that community post you know there will be times when i will be sharing you know uh whatever personal things and probably that vera bradley outlet whenever it becomes available that's the easiest place for me to let you guys know uh, also too if you're not subscribed to me on instagram i put a lot of stuff up there that's sometimes more personal and uh sometimes before I'm able to get a video up. So, you know, I don't ask for subscribers or anything like that, but check me out over there on Instagram sometimes. I have a, a bunch of pictures. Sometimes I have still pictures up there that you could zoom in and look at, you know, at things closer a little bit and that kind of thing. So do check me out out there. It's Arlen's Country Craft Corner. There is a link up at the uh, in the description. I always have a link in the description. And I believe there's a little link up at, on the picture up on the right-hand side. Which side would it be? The right hand side, right at the bottom. You see a W, that's for WordPress, that's for my blog. And then I think there's an Instagram link up there. You know, of course I'm saying that and I don't really know. But anyway, regardless, I'm always linked. My Instagram is always linked in the description. But anyway, Vera Bradley, I love this little outlet and I actually have one more thing coming from there because I went back in and I purchased one more thing because I saw it right before the, the, uh, sale closed honestly you can go in as many times as you want things are already on sale at this outlet and then when you go to checkout you get another 30 percent off and then you get free shipping no matter how small or big your your order is so the first time i went in which is what i'm fixing to haul for you now i uh couldn't really find any bags or anything that I wanted. I, I like their travel bags, that's what I love. And I like their jewelry, which is what I'm fixing to show you. And I like their phone covers. Check it out. Now y'all know I'm going to the Mexican Riviera coming up in, goodness gracious, it's getting closer, closer and closer. I leave October the 25th from, from my house here. So I have an iPhone that I'm recording on, an iPhone X. And this was, I want to say like $17 or something like that. Really nice. I have another one. Y'all have seen me when I, you know, when I video in a mirror, you've seen what I have now. And it's a Vera case too. But this has a little turtle on it. Look up there, a little turtle, a little heart, a little anchor. Isn't that cute? And I just thought this would be perfect for a cruise and check out the glitter. You know, I love me some glitter. <laughs> and that moves around in there. Isn't that pretty? So I thought that would be super cute for my cruises to switch out uh, to this little phone cover as long as I have an iPhone X anyway. <laughs> so, and they're really good. They're, they're, they're like an, uh, trust me, I've dropped my phone several times and they protect like an otter box does. I mean, it's, you get, it's nice and padded there on the, 
on the edges. And it just sl slips, you know, kind of sl snugs right in there, nice and tight. So got that cute little thing. And then I looked through and I thought, I, I just like this jewelry that they had. It was, I don't have anything like it, it's different. So I got me a little necklace. I don't remember how much this stuff, uh, well, this was originally $48. I don't remember how much I paid for it, you guys. It was not much, though. I think this whole order was under, I wanna say under $50 for everything. And I've got four, three, three pieces of jewelry and then the phone case. But anyway, check it out, isn't that pretty? And it's just, uh, it's got multicolored stones in it, but they're uh, kind of like an ambery and a gray and pink kind of, it's got a kind of got a pink hue. So, and I love this kind of a shape on a necklace. I think that's super pretty. So, love that. Then I got the earrings to match. And they were $48, but I didn't pay that for it, trust me. Let me see if I can get something to put there. But they're pretty, they're on chains. Well, that's not gonna help. I don't have anything color other than my hand. There we go. With the same kind of stones. Super pretty. And then I got a little bracelet, too. Same kind of look, they all match. And this has like, and this was $58. The bracelet was $58 to begin with. And it's kind of got this kind of little uh, clasp on it. You just put it through Easier said than done because of the tag. I can't get it on because of the tag. It's got to slide through a little bit and then, you know, the toggles on there. Really cute. Very heavy duty and I have to tell you a story. I have another bracelet like this from Vera Y'all and when I was heavier, I could not get it on my wrist. This will go on my wrist absolutely fine with room to spare. So that made me feel really good that I could actually get this on my wrist and that other one too. So that's what I got from the Vera Outlet. That's it, that's all I got from the Vera Outlet. And um, as I said, I have another bag coming and I actually have some jewelry coming from Amazon. So I'll haul that probably next week because probably moving forward we'll have this video today and then tomorrow will be my living room. And then uh, Friday will be my home tour. So I'm gonna not put a video up on Thursday. I think Thursday will be the only day this week that I don't have a video and of course the weekend. But, so I'll probably stay, save that other jewelry from Amazon and whatnot for next week. So anyway, all right, so there's my Vera Bradley haul. I don't wanna lose this jewelry, so I'm gonna snug this up here. Okay, so next let's go to Home Goods. Got a little story for you for Home Goods. I went into Michael's, and I'll do Michael's after I get done with Home Goods. And our Home Goods sits beside Michael's. And Chris said, "Well, I'll run into Home Goods. There's some maybe I, there's something I can use to cook with." Because he's he loves to cook. He's a really 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 good cook. And I said, "Okay." And I had a 25% off your total purchase sale and regular price items at Michael's. So I was heading in there to look and see what I could see in there. So I. He comes back in to Michael's after he was done and we're walking out and he goes, well, he says, I gotta show you what I found at Home Goods." And I said, well, what in the world did you find? And he said, because I was expecting him not to come up back with anything, you know. I thought that he was just appeasing me, you know, to let me go into Michael's because he's just sweet that way, you know. <laughs> For those of you who have been with me a while, know that I have a, a Ray Dunn uh, trio of that says forks, knives, and spoons. Forks, knives, and spoons, it's on a little tray, and I keep my uh, plastic ware in there because we use that a lot just for snacks and whatnot. And he always has teased me. He says, oh, he says, man, if I did not have 
that the word forks on there, Arlen. I wouldn't know where to find the forks or I wouldn't know where to find the spoons if I didn't, you know, if spoons wasn't written on there and if knives weren't written on there. I'm like, shut up. He always teases me. He's just giving me a hard time, just teasing me. So then he said, he says, yeah, he says, I found me. He says, I'm, you know, I'm getting old. I'm getting a little senile here. I need a little help. I need a little help when I'm cooking to, you know, to find out where I might have put my stirring spoon. <laughs> oh my goodness. So here he comes. And he said he got this. It was $7.99. <laughs> People who live in Spotsylvania, head over to Home Goods. They have a ton of Ray Dunn right now. If you like Ray Dunn, they have a ton of it uh, over there. So this is Ray Dunn. <laughs> they don't have uh, Tracy over there, second hand Tracy, and she found a beautiful pumpkin at Marshall's that says blessed on it. I went in there looking for it and they didn't have it in there. But anyway, I thought that was as funny as can be. <laughs> so now he has his spoon rest so he can find his spoon. <laughs> ah, it cracks me up. I'm telling you. So anyway, so now, now we, we have, have a Ray Dunn spoon rest that will help Chris out. So that was it from Home Goods. Oh my goodness. Now let me show you what I got from Michaels. As I said, I had a 25% off coupon for the entire purchase, sale items or not. But these were uh, really pretty. I ended up having a big old conversation in there with a sweet lady. Uh, they actually had some pink leaves that went in my grandma's hutch that went in that um, swag that I made. And I, and I had one picked up and in my hand and she was getting ready to make an arrangement for her daughter and there, was, there were two. And I had picked one up and she said, oh, that was just what I was looking for. So I had one in my basket and she put one in hers and we were talking together and putting flowers together with those leaves and this, that. Y'all, I ended up giving her mine. I said, I don't need it that bad. I have, that's the only place I'm doing pink for fall. It's fine. So I gave her what I had, but I did, I had picked these up to go with it. Uh, so I know that these are gonna, I'm gonna add some of these to my grandma's hutch, just inside of it, you know, uh, with the little tufts that I had put inside of it. I'm just gonna put some of these in with the pink leaves that I put in there. So I got two of these and they were 40% off already, all their fall. These are considered fall uh, $5, so 40% off of $5, then another 25% off, you know. So then I used one of my Joann's coupons and got another $5 off of, uh, 30, of $35. So I, I also used that. So, you know, I made out like a bandit. And I tell you, use your coupons, you guys. Utilize those coupons, you know. And I also picked up a couple of blue, three, two different colors of blue and cream candles. These were not on sale, but I got 25% off, you know, of them. Which of these was, I think, $9. I don't know. I think they were $9. And then I got like 25% off. But I thought they were pretty. And of course, they go with my blue and white or blue and cream. You know. I got these. And then I got this little pumpkin. Which is really cute. The gold stem or somewhere out in my living room and dining room. I thought it was super pretty and it was $8, 40% off and then more. So I thought that was pretty. And then I got me these because these were in the fall. These were considered fall. They were 30, was that say $30? Yeah, $30 but they were considered false, so they were 40% off of $30, and then I got another 25% off, whatever, the whole order. And this, is, or the whole, yeah, the whole, everything I bought. Uh, so this is a one set ensemble, eight LED candles with remote, uh, considered fall, and they're vanilla scented. And then it has one of those push, push the buttons. I'm not gonna take them all out, but I got two uh, two three by six inch wax pillars, two three by four inch wax pillars, four votives, and one remote. And I, you know that where I made my uh, pumpkin centerpiece for my sideboard, that big pumpkin, I think I'm going to use these candles 
to put candles in graduated sizes up on there and then do, you know, pull the pit berries up and around or do another like pit berry garden, something, something for after Christmas with these. So I'm gonna put these away and pull these out after Christmas. But I thought, what a great price. And you know, they really look like fall, don't they? But they're, they're considered fall. <laughs> Go figure. So got me those. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Okay, so that is everything from Michaels. Like I said, I didn't get a lot from each store, but I did get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm gonna take trick or treat. Okay, that's it from Michaels. You do have one little thing from, and that. Y'all will see my uh, mailbox next week. Uh, but I went in there looking for just some uh, cheap uh, leaf garlands, and I was able to find a couple from in there. And some leaf picks, some bigger leaf picks, just to use out at my mailbox, which I said, as I said, you'll see that next week. But I also came across this little cute little plate, which I thought was really super cute, and it was $3.99 from And That or The Christmas Tree Shops. And for those of you who go in locally, these were sitting underneath the shelf. You had to look for them. Underneath the shelf where they have all their light blue pumpkins and whatnot. All that whole display, this was sitting underneath. But I thought this was really cute. So you will not see this in my home tour. I've already got that in the can. I don't have it edited at all. Oh, my land. That's why I need Thursday. Because <laughs> I haven't edited it. I haven't edited tomorrow's video when I'm making this one. So... I got a lot of editing to do. But anyway, I thought that was really cute. $3.99 from at, and that or the Christmas tree shops. And then in tomorrow's video, you're going to see one thing that I bought from Plow and Hearth that I'm not going to tell you about here. You're going to have to wait till tomorrow. But it is super, super pretty. And I am crazy excited about it. Crazy excited about it. And you guys will just have to wait till tomorrow. And I don't normally do that, but... I'm gonna, it, it's, it's be worth the wait, I promise you. So, but I also picked up from there, this little leaf, it's a garland banner. It's a banner, they're calling it a banner. I think I'm gonna use this out of my wagon on the front porch when I decorate out there. So, and it is, these are all the things that it has on it. And they're, they're nice. I'll tell you, Plow and Hearth has some really super nice stuff. I had a couple of flags in my hand. I'm like, no, Chris, I'm not. We had, a, again, we had a coupon. Chris had found a coupon for, how much was that off of the whole order, honey? Do you know? Do you remember? At Plow and Hearth? 20 or 25% 20 more off. And I believe their fall stuff was already on sale. So, and this was $11.99. Originally, $24.95 and then on sale for $11.99 and then another 20% off of that. So, uh, but it's really cute. So that will go on my front porch. So that's all we got other than the thing you'll see tomorrow in Plow and Hearth. Okay, that's that. And then Ross. I went running back into Ross because I don't know whether y'all remember me mentioning the uh, vase <laughs> that they had in there at Ross. Well, y'all, I went back and I got it because, and I was just, I said to Chris, I said, well, I don't know whether they'll still have it in there, but if they do, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. And it was $24.95. And I... passed it up last week and thought about it the whole week and I was like oh my goodness so they had it they had it they still had it and here it is and I came home and I just did a quick quick arrangement again if you go to my Instagram I have a picture up on my Instagram but I just put I had a big this is one big tuff of, of flowers that are pumpkins and whatnot that I got from Hobby Lobby the cream pumpkins and then these are just a couple of picks I had left over. And then, of course, these gold leafy things. But isn't that pretty? Look at the bottom of that. That's so pretty. And I have it sitting in by my dining room hutch. So, look at the top. Isn't that pretty? I have it sitting on the floor. I don't have it sitting up on anything 
so super pretty. And then I just came across these. And I don't know that these would look, maybe not bad. I need to find navy blue pillar candles. My candles that I got from Ann that are not navy, they're more of a cobalt. This is more of a, of a, well, it is kind of a cobalt, but they don't look real wonderful with these. So, I don't know, I'd rather have navy blue, I think. But anyway, I got these, these were six ninety five five or six ninety nine. I took the price tag off, five or six ninety nine for each. So, me and my blue and white, I'm like an eagle eye. Wait a minute, did I? Yeah, I took the price tag off with this blue and white stuff, I love it. So this stuff, these will probably get put away till after Christmas because I really and truly do not have another place to put these right now. So they're, and they won't go, I tried to put them here on my counter, but they really don't look nice up against my, uh, I have that pumpkin runner, table runner now, so they really don't look really good there. So anyway, they'll come back after Christmas. But anyway, the last thing I wanna show you, and I'm really excited about this, and this, <laughs> This hit me, uh, I, I had been watching stuff on my DVR the other night, and we had been watching QVC before I turned on the DVR, you know, so I went, when I turned off the DVR, it was after midnight, and here came QVC, and here they came with today's special value. Well, I'd never seen this stuff, and I'm probably the last, I'm sure all of you are very familiar with this. It is Squoval Bakeware from... Tara, what's her last name? I don't know, by Tara, it just says. I know what she has, she has a last name, I just don't know what it is right now. But anyway, I got me a set of bakeware. And what's in this set is a four quart baker, a deep dish lit it, is what they call, a divided lit it, two two ounce, uh, two 12 ounce, I think it is, bakers, it's like ramekins, you know, and then uh, a wrought iron holder and two lids. Y'all, check this out. And the pattern is, I got it in blue, and it is called floral lace. They have it in two different kinds of patterns. One is called floral lace and one is called old world. I encourage you to look it up on QVC. This set also came with a cookbook. And this cookbook is designed to spread all of this stuff out and make a cohesive kind of a buffet dinner or snacks or it is so cool. I was like, I am sold on this. I think I spent with shipping and everything, it was like 60 some dollars, 65, $66, something like that. But wait till I see, I'll show this to you here in a second, but check out this. I mean, some of the stuff in here, that's the old world pattern. That is not what I got, but that's the old world pattern. But check it out. I mean, honest to goodness, marvelous main dishes, lemon rosemary roasted chicken, crave worthy California cob. I mean, it's just yum, yum, yum. So I'm excited. So here is the whole set, and you can pile it all up together. I don't know that I can lift this because of my arm. <laughs> my arm's better, but I don't want to hurt it again. But there's everything piled all up inside of one, one inside the other. And I'll show you each individual piece. They have holiday, I encourage you guys, check it out. Check it out, so like this is the three sectioned tray. Isn't this pretty, y'all? Oh my goodness. Temp temptations. Vibrant blue, isn't that pretty? And then it's kind of got a brown. This is kind of a brown on top the handle. And then it looks like it's, it, it's like, almost looks like it, it's like sewn, you know? Of course it's not, it's ceramic, but isn't that pretty? So that's your three, sectioned off three tray. 
and they're all meant to, you know, to go with one another. Here is a lid that fits on the tray. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it would go on the tray. Fits on all of the pieces. And here are the little ramekins that each has a lid. It just came with three lids. But there are the ramekins. Isn't this pretty? I was like, I can't believe this. I couldn't, I could not pass this up. And I wouldn't mind it in other colors, you know? But they had two of those. And then here is the baking dish. You can do lasagna in here. You can do, I mean, really and truly, look, it is, it's a deep dish. Isn't that pretty though? And it's an oval, so, but it's not like your typical 13 by nine inch. It just says it's four quart. And I'm, I don't have my measuring here. But look at that, isn't that pretty? You could definitely do a lasagna or whatever else, a pot roast, you know, and then serve it on the wrought iron dish. And this is considered a tray. And then they have, they all stack in one another, which is really cool. Then they have, this wrought iron holder that holds everything. Like I had lifted it up, it holds everything. So I store it away in this. I love it, I love it, this is so cool. This is such a neat, neat piece. Never had anything like this in my life. Never seen anything like it. But boy, did I ever fall in love with this. So. Pile it all back on top. The wrought iron handles come up and over the lid so you can actually lift it and not worry about it falling anywhere. Tilt it and not, you know, if you want to carry it like this in some place, you know, it's awesome. What a great little set of dishes. QVC. I'll give you a link for it from QVC. But that's it, that's my entire haul. So, let me go into some questions. <laughs> As I said, I only have about four. There we go. Okay, uh, and if you don't hear me answer your question, do check underneath the question where you asked it. I might have probably, most probably did answer you there if it was a quicker and easier you know, question to answer. I probably answered it there. But uh, these are the questions I thought I might want to, you know, expound on a little bit. But uh, number one is from Mary Poole. And she said, I also have a question. She had given me a nice compliment. <laughs> and she said, do you decorate for Halloween? Now, for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that Halloween is not my favorite. <laughs> So no, I do not decorate for Halloween really at all. At all. It's not uh, my favorite. I, you know, it, I see some cute stuff. I, I like the cutesy Halloween stuff and that's, that's really cool. But it, it's just not something that I've ever been excited to do. And if I'm not excited to do it, I don't do it in my own home, you know. So that's it. So no, I don't decorate for Halloween. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint anybody, but no. Unfortunately, you won't see Halloween coming out of Arlen's Country Craft Corner. <laughs> uh, then uh, number two, and I don't remember who asked me because I didn't write your, write your name down, but I know I did answer you in within your question too. I'm sorry, I don't remember who asked me this, but it's just she asked, do you have help cleaning, cleaning the house? And we don't. I mean, Chris and I clean it. Both of us clean it. But we don't hire anybody to come in and clean it. I don't have, um, you know, anybody, a housekeeper or anything like that. No, 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 no. We do all the cleaning. So just to clarify that. <laughs> then number three uh, is from Karen Folsom. Uh, do you plan to do any more decorating challenges in the future? Love seeing others decorating ideas. And I did answer, somebody else asked me this just uh, the other night. And unfortunately, no, you guys. And I think I did answer this in, in another Q&A just last week or the week before. Last year, uh, for those of you who just joined me, I hosted along with Kim over there at Sweet Daisy Creations. I hosted 
many challenges. I believe one summer challenge and three or four fall challenges and then three or four Christmas challenges. You know, do a lantern centerpiece, do a cozy corner, you know, and other things. And unfortunately, you guys, I just can't do it this year. I don't know that I will be doing them in the future. On a day-to-day -day basis, I spend every bit of eight hours on my channel. It is like a job, you guys. It really is like a job. Between setting things up, doing the literal videoing, uh, putting everything away, editing everything, uploading everything, putting all of that stuff in every description that you guys see, looking things up, answering, responding when I can. You know, I don't always, but I try to as much as I can. It can take upwards of eight hours a day. Think about that and then add in, a, you know, accepting emails from all of you guys, which was absolutely wonderful because not only did I do my own portion of the challenge, I created subby videos too, which I loved doing. That was the most fun part of doing those challenges was seeing what you guys came up with. And trust me, I never, again, never want to disappoint anybody ever. But by the time I got to Christmas, I was sitting at Stacy's house Christmas Eve. And by the time I got to Christmas Eve, I was a zombie. I was a zombie, I could hardly move. And I just looked at her and I said, Stacey, I've got to back off of this a little bit. I'm gonna burn myself out. And she says, oh, don't burn yourself out. Don't burn yourself out on what you love, you know? So I literally had to pull back. By the time February rolled around, I believe I put up a video last year when I stopped doing my lives on Friday. I used to do Friday lives. I had gotten to the point where I was going out to buy things to show you on the Friday lives. That wasn't working out very well for my pocketbook. Uh, as long. And not to mention the TROLLSs that came in and were getting worse and worse and worse with each subsequent live. And I just, I was like, I'm not on here to take that kind of abuse, to have you guys take that kind of abuse. One of you, the last live I did was, was a uh, to, the live before the last one I did was that person one of you guys was really attacked and uh, I didn't like it I didn't like it I'm like no nope. so I will not be doing lives you know I'll do a pop-up live every now and again but I think I've done one I think I've done one since then I just won't I won't set myself up for that and nor will I set you guys up for it so the way I've been running my channel since last February which is normally three to four videos a week uh, if I have something to decorate, now there'll be a time when I won't have that many coming up, you know, when it's not necessarily a holiday, when it's, when I don't have anything going on, you know, it, 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 I, I go according to what my life, what I'm doing in my life and you guys follow me through my life, you know, so unfortunately, Karen, no, I will not. And again, it's not to hurt anybody's feelings. It's not to disappoint anybody. It is what Arlen can do. I have to take care of myself, you guys. I have to. Because last year, I wasn't. I wasn't. And by Christmas, I was almost sick, y'all. I worked myself sick, really and truly. So I can't do that. I just can't. Because I'm, I'm a very anal retentive person. And if I'm going to do something, I do it 150%. And, and you all don't know how hard it was for me to say I'm not going to do it. And I'm not going to do my lives. Because... That's something that I added. I think I had mentioned this before. I set my own bar pretty high. <laughs> and it's hard for me to reach it sometimes. So I have to get real and know how much I can handle. So, okay. I, I, I dreaded answering that because I don't want to disappoint y'all. Anyway, one more question <clears throat> from Jill Anderson Fincher. Hey, Jill. All right, when you have company coming for dinner, do you remove the centerpiece? She was talking about my lantern centerpiece. While everyone is eating, if so, where do you put it in the meantime? Uh, yes, I do. Normally, if we're gonna be eating at the table, we'll move it and sometimes set it right here on the bar count or on the island. Uh, other times, I'll put it on the floor in the, uh, like in the bay window, far away from the crowd, you know, in the, in the living room. Uh, put it in our bedroom. Uh, Chris will carry it upstairs. You know, it just, it just, just depends on where everybody isn't. 
gonna be and we just set it there you know that's it yeah but we do move it that's why I make them in trays you know so that we they're easily picked up well <laughs> that thing is not easily picked up by me Chris can easily pick it up and move it or my dad could easily pick or probably one of my girls but I'm I, you know I it's heavy I mean that thing is heavy so but yes we do pick them up and move them so that everybody can sit and fellowship around the table and whatnot you know so yeah because you can't see, over, well, the dope all weaving, you can't even see over. You'd be like, hello, what's going on there across the table? No, I want, I want people to be able to have a nice line of sight with one another, you know. And you'll see, I'm actually hosting Christmas Eve this year. And I have a couple of totes downstairs that have like tablecloths and centerpieces that I bring out just for Christmas Eve. So that, and I set up another table here so that we can all sit and eat in this area and put tablecloths on and centerpieces on that are lower uh, so people can look over them. You know, I still have centerpieces on the table, but people can look over them. So that's it. That's all my questions for now. If you have any more, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them like after a haul video or after a video that might not take so long or whatever. And like I said, moving forward this week, tomorrow will be the living room. And then Friday will be my indoor home tour. I'm really looking forward to bringing you that. Uh, and again, I'll give you a minute mark where you don't have to listen to me talking all the way through. That uh, You can just go to the place where, you know, you'll watch it uh, just set to music. And then the next week, we're going to move outside and at least do the mailbox. And I'm not sure how much decorating I'll bring you along with the decorate with me because it'll just be an outdoor, you know, and then I'll do an outdoor tour. So I don't know whether you really need to see me doing the decorating. Let me know if you do want to see that. You know, I can always do a decorate with me and then the home tour, you know, so. And then after that, I'm not sure. I have to start in with my cruise packing videos. A lot of you have been calling me for me to do my wardrobe, my Mexican Riviera wardrobe video, my uh, must-haves for that cruise video. Uh, my literally packing up for that video, you know, my, my packing cues, my packing tips and tricks, what I use, my, you show my packing cubes and garment folder and all that stuff. So I'll probably go into that, you know, as I get closer to my cruise. So, uh, because my decorating will be done until after I get back. I won't have any more decorating to do uh, after I'm done my outdoor, you know, stuff. So... I'm not going to take some apart just to redecorate it for you guys, you know. So it might get a little quieter over here until I leave. And as I said, I'm going to try to vlog while I'm on that cruise. Fingers crossed, Lord willing, that I can upload while I'm on the ship. So anyway, all right. Ah, rambling. What? And I always say this. What's new? What's new? With me, with my rambling. I'm always rambling. So let me go into some final words here and say... That I hope that all is well with everyone. I've gotten several emails in the last week where uh, some of you have gotten some really rough news about yourself or about a family member. Please do know that I keep you all, I always keep you all as a group in my prayers, but then I do pull individual names out at times when I'm asked, you know. So I'm really, really sorry that, that you or your family member is, is suffering and struggling right now. And let me just say that for those of you who uh, are suffering or struggling with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll see you tomorrow from a living room, but I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.